So, Storin, uh, what are we looking at here? Okay, this is the diagram I showed in the article uh, that uh, I tried to show in the easier way the process of uh, cold fusion. In this side is the reactor enclosure that contain nickel powder, metal hydride, and beta emitter. In fact, I show here two isotopes of nickel powder, powder 62 and 64. And uh, so why, why is needed beta emitter? And first it could uh, dissociate the hydrogen molecule into, hi into uh, hydrogen atoms and then to create a Rydberg state that has uh, this kind of magnetic feature that could combine with the proper nuclear state of the nickel and to get a fusion. So I show here if one proton is attached to the nickel 62 we will get a copper 63 that is a stable. Another isotope in the similar way will get copper 65. Uh, if two protons are attached we will get uh, zinc 64 and also from another uh, isotope zinc 66. In this case all the output elements are stable so in this case of selection of the isotope we should not have radioactive waste and uh, here a beta emitter should be a minor beta, minus beta particle. Why? Because it needs only to, to create a, a Rydberg state. If it is a plus beta particle, the electron could be catched up with a plus beta and to get some oscillation. But we need a Rydberg state that is a special state of hydrogen atom of one proton and one electron. Uh, but in this state, according to my theory, the electron is in a different, quite different, distinguishable orbit. So this option, in fact, uh, covered uh, the reactor designed by Andrea Rossi and uh, the research of uh, Sergio of uh, Ficardi. Ficardi. Yeah. But also the same process is similar like uh, Defcalion, but in Defcalion they don't use a, a beta emitter, they use a high voltage arc. The purpose of the arc is the same, first to dissociate the molecular hydrogen and then to create the Rydberg state. And uh, so uh, as a result of the reaction we get uh, gamma emission. And this gamma is converted to heat, to heat, so the output is heat. Here for the starting of the process uh, is need some heat because the metal hydride to, in order to release the hydrogen it has to be heated. Metal hydride could be from the palladium. It is interesting that uh, palladium also could involve a proton capture uh, but with a smaller probability. But uh, if getting proton capture, then it will get a silver that is uh, uh, radioactive emitting a minus beta particle. This minus beta particle could reinforce the process here. So this is just one hypothetical prediction that uh, how the cold fusion process could be effectively realized